Welcome to Crown Point, Indiana, where the allure of the quaint town meets the energy of the ever-evolving city. Right here in the heart of America, they've managed to pair grandma's treasured stories with the buzz of a startup coffee shop. From bustling streets, echoing tales of the past, to the thriving pulse of modern day commerce, Crown Point isn't just any city, it represents a blend of history, progress, and a tight-knit community spirit. In the middle of Crown Point, they have this cool building called the Grand Old Lady, which is the historic Lake County Courthouse. It's not just about how it looks, but all the things it's seen over the years. For instance, did you know that back in the day, it was a hub for all things Crown Point? And here's a fun fact for you. Famous gangster John Dillinger, the bank robber from the 30s, was once held in the Lake County Sheriff's house and jail nearby. Before he was transferred to this escape-proof facility, Dillinger had a reputation for jailbreaks. But oh, how the irony when he managed to slip away. He managed to escape using a wooden gun that he whittled himself. It's these layers of history that make every corner of Crown Point Point so intriguing. Imagine the kinds of stories if those walls could talk. So next time you're wandering around Crown Point, give a nod to the grand old lady. She's seen things and she's still standing tall. History enthusiasts will find a paradise in the Lake County Historical Museum. You can check out the stone tools on display, talk about OG kitchen gadgets, or those diaries and letters from the founding citizens. Those are like old school texting, but with a little more ink and fewer emojis. And oh, the vintage postcards? Think of them as Snapchat stories of yesteryears, capturing Crown Point's vibe from back in the day. Then there's the stellar collection of uniforms. Now I don't know much about you, but but seeing all those patches and insignias feels like scrolling through someone's highlight reel. We're talking about bling that says, been there, done that. Crown Point really shows its heart when you take a wander down its streets spotting those old Victorian houses. You know, the kind with the fancy woodwork and the big porches. It's like they're frozen in time. You half expect to bump in the kids from a century ago playing catch or maybe hear the soft hum of an old timey tune from an open window. It's kind of like walking through a movie set of history. Those beautiful porches, those detailed windows, Windows, they all have stories to tell and I think that's the beauty of it every corner here doesn't just talk about today it's got a little bit of yesterday tucked in there too oh but don't let Crown Point's vintage vibes fool you into thinking it's stuck in a time capsule this place is as forward-thinking as a Silicon Valley startup in just a decade it's rolled out the welcome mat for thousands of new residents you see Crown Point isn't just aging like a fine wine it's also got the fizz of champagne and the result are neighborhoods that buzz with energy and businesses that are more hopping than a kangaroo on a pogo stick. It's the best of both worlds, really. A place where history and progress do the tango. So come for the heritage, but stay for the opportunities. Since 2010, more than 7,000 new people have decided to call Crown Point their home. That's bumped up the total population close to 35,000. But let's be clear, it's not just a numbers game. It's about the vibe, the community, and the whole energy of the place changing. It's like the city itself is getting a fresh coat of paint and a new sparkle in its eye. The job market here has really been on the move. With a 1.2% bump from last year. In the future, it's looking pretty bright. Experts are saying that the job growth could soar by 32.5% in the next decade. Now the city's got a little bit of a strategic advantage, being part of the Economic Growth Region 1. That connects them to powerhouse counties like Jasper, Lake, and Laporte, adding some serious juice to their economic engine. Hey, it's not just about big corporations getting all the love. The Lake County Economic Development Commission is doing its part to help businesses of all sizes. They've got programs like the Lake County Revolving Loan Fund to make sure every business has the funds to make their mark. They're basically the wind beneath the wings of local businesses. If you ask me, and shameless plug, don't forget to support small veteran-owned businesses like mine. When it comes to growth, Crown Point isn't about throwing buildings up willy-nilly. They've got a comprehensive plan that shows they're serious about balanced growth. It's like they've got one eye on their rich history and the other on the bright future, making sure neither gets left behind. But let's not forget, Crown Point isn't just about buildings and plans, it's about a certain way of life too. Feeling safe and being part of a community isn't just a nice to have, it's a must have. So let's talk safety for a minute. Crown Point Fire and Rescue isn't just about rushing to the scene when things go south. These heroes are proactive. They hold workshops that teach everything from safety to emergency prep to people of all ages, youngsters, adults, and even the golden generation. Also remember to ask me about my heroes discounts. At Crown Point High School, the lessons go beyond the textbooks. Here, students don't just ace their tests, they ace being good humans. Think of it as Life 101, teaching them about how to care, share, 
and wear their hearts on their sleeves. And if you're picturing these schools as the wild, wild west, think again. The Crown Point Community School Corporation has safety on lock, literally. Each school has its own certified safety guru. So while students are busy figuring out algebra or what Shakespeare really meant, they're doing it in a place that's safer than a bank vault. Crown Point in a nutshell, it's like that perfect sandwich, honoring its rich layers of history while adding fresh feelings of progress, deliciously balanced. When it comes to their clean community challenge, it's not just a snazzy title. It's as if Crown Point declared, let's expand, but do it green like a plant, not a factory. And guess what? They've roped in Michigan City and LaPorte as eco buddies. Together, they're setting eco-friendly goals that even Mother Earth would high five them for. And their comprehensive plan, it's got growth, but with some thoughtful brain power behind it. Think less traffic jams and more leisurely strolls to the local grocery store or that cafe where everyone knows your coffee order. Less honks and more friendly hellos. When it comes to water, Crown Point isn't just splashing around. Their long-term control plan improvements is like their written oath to water. It's as if they shook hands with state and federal regulations and said, let's keep this crisp and clean, shall we? It's equivalent to promising to always separate your recycling. They're committed. Under the keen eye of the Northwestern Indiana Regional Planning Commission, they're ensuring every droplet's worth is recognized. They treat each gallon like a VIP guest at a party. Because in Crown Point, clean water isn't just an add-on, it's the main event. All right, let's talk bricks and bucks. It's real estate time. Crown Point is pretty happening. Picture this. Homes here are flaunting a price tag of around $305,000 on average. That's like they've hit the real estate gym and balked up 3.5% from last year. And if you're the type to check the label, the rate is about $182 for each square foot. And that is a tidy 4% flex from last year. So how long is it taking for a for sale sign to flip to sold these days? Last year, homes were playing hard to get for about 30 laid back days. This year, they're taking a little extended vacation at about 41 days. And for those who want to look at the stats, 64 homes this August put down the welcome mats, which is down from 74 house parties that were thrown in the previous August. But here is the kicker. Some homes, and probably the ones with the cool pools or killer views, are selling faster than fresh baked cookies at a school fair. They're gone in about 15 days. Now let's zoom in a tad more. Between June and August, 17% of folks around here had a bit of wanderlust and itching for a change of scenery. But then, a massive 83% pulled out their Crown Point loyalty cards and said, wait, the adventure's right here. From the great US of A, about 4% were peeking over the fence, thinking about jumping into Crown Point. And the biggest fans? Denver is waving hello, with Rockford and Lafayette not too far behind, probably trying to figure out the secret barbecue sauce or, or where we hide our best parks. All right, let's wrap this up. Crown Point, Indiana. It isn't just some random spot you accidentally spill coffee on while looking over a map, think of it as a cocktail. A mix of history, a splash of economic sparkle, a twist of community, a hint of green thinking, and a dash of fresh housing. From those age-old landmarks to the lively downtown hustle and green thumb initiatives, Crown Point is like your favorite mixtape, blending golden oldies with today's top hits. It's the place where nostalgia meets tomorrow and makes you think, yeah, this feels like my kind of jam. Finding the perfect home or that ideal place to settle down isn't a walk in a park, but I trust that this video has illuminated the charms of a city that might be just on your relocation radar. Whether you're a stone's throw away or oceans apart, always remember that my expansive network of real estate professionals is at your beck and call. And should your path lead you to the vibrant heart of Chicagoland, how about we talk and make those home aspirations a reality? That's it for today. If this detailed exploration has added a new dimension to your decision making process, please hit that like button with enthusiasm and spread the word. Every share, every comment helps our community of savvy seekers grow even stronger. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and I'll see you in the next deep dive.